Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, The Watch Coconut. Today I've got you yet another rather uncommon Seiko. Um, this model is not really sought after internationally, but in Thailand, it's really popular right now. So let me present to you all the Seiko 5 SNZF45, or more commonly known as the White Baby Monster. So this watch is basically the more affordable version of its bigger brother, the Seiko Monster. So let's start off with the dimensions, shall we? This watch measures in at 43mm wide, thickness of 13mm, lock width of 22mm, and the lock to lock of 48mm. So it's not in any way a small watch, but then it's still very much very wearable. Despite what the name may suggest, there's nothing baby about the watch. The watch still retains the bold and aggressive aesthetic from the original Seiko Monster. Yes, there may be trade-offs here and there for a more affordable price, like the simpler case design, the lack of screw-down crown, no hacking or hand winding, as well as the lower 100 meters of water resistance. But for me, none of that matters much. Those features will always be a welcome addition, of course, don't get me wrong. But what attracts me to this watch, or any other watch, is first and foremost how it looks. I mean, just look at the thing. The aggressive samurai handset, the big bold markers, the black mini track, the black day and date wheels, the bezel that slopes inward with black enamel paint on the bold numbers, and of course, even down to the nerd crown. Oh my god, what more can I say? This design is a home run for me. It's the perfect fun watch. Even the text on the dial looks nice and balanced. I like the newer generation of Baby Monster, which looks kinda off to me. Originally, this watch came on a monster style bracelet, but then I'm fitting mine on this chalk mesh bracelet, which I think gives the watch a much better look and a more comfortable feel on the wrist. What do you guys think? Will this be a contender for your next watch purchase? Would you pick this watch over the original Seiko Monster? For me, it's a yes. Even though Seiko Monster is inherently a much better watch with better specifications, I still prefer the design of this white baby monster. The popular orange monsters is nice, but the color combination just doesn't do it for me. The closest thing to this watch is probably the Seiko Snow Monster, but blue and white just can't give the same bold look as black and white. Well, that would be all for this video. Was it too short? Would you rather have me do longer and more in-depth video? I'm still trying to get a hang of this, so let me know. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye.